We just can't escape the summertime heat. Seems like all last month we had one of these heat advisory, which is what we have for tomorrow into Saturday. In fact, it seemed like the whole month of July was under a heat advisory, with the exception of the last few days where we cooled down a bit earlier in the week. So, yeah, kiss the cooler weather goodbye. It's long gone. This weekend's going to be a toasty one. In fact, record breaking for some tomorrow. We're talking highs, breaking records by a couple degrees for some of us here in the Snake River Plain. There is a little bit of relief if you want to call this relief. Sunday, a chance of some showers. Hopefully with the showers, also a risk of thunderstorms. We'll have some extra cloud cover, but it's going to be pretty much hot all weekend. Temperatures will ease up a little bit as we go back to work on Monday. Storm tracker, high pressure over Utah. That's allowing the heat to build into East Idaho. And it's also going to allow this moisture to sneak in around through Southern Nevada and then just up and over into East Idaho this weekend. So you'll notice more clouds in the sky for Saturday. And then those clouds could produce some showers and thunderstorms across the eastern half of the state into western Wyoming as uh, we wrap up the first weekend of August. 62 is where we're going to wrap it up tonight, early tomorrow morning for low temperature, clear sky above. Hardly a breeze out there. What's new there? It's kind of nice to not be really windy. It seemed like we had a bunch of wind last month as well, so a little tamer in that department. 52 for a low in Idaho Falls, a little warmer than you were last night. Last night you were 48 degrees. Tomorrow, you're going to be hot. In fact, that 99 will be a record high. The previous record for tomorrow's date, August 2nd, 98 degrees set just four years ago. We're going to break it by at least one degree. Pocatello won't be record breaking. The record high for tomorrow, 104. Let's hope not. Yeah, right. We, I think we'll, we'll like 100 better, but still very hot for this time of year. Northwest wind 5 to 10 miles per hour. What little breeze. I don't know if it's going to feel good at all. 96 will be the high in Rexburg, near 90 in Island Park, 92 in Jackson. Jackson, you were 87 today, so you'll notice that little bump in temperatures. And speaking of hot, Twin Falls 103. Oh, that's nothing. Take a look at Boise tomorrow. 108 degrees, breaking the previous record by several degrees. 108 in Boise. Now they can have it. 102 will be the high in Alco, and even Salt Lake City will top out at 103 with a little extra smoke to our south. Your Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast. Look at ahead. First weekend of August, we start things off with a heat advisory. We maybe end the weekend with some showers and thunderstorms. And then not quite so warm a week from now, we'll be in the upper 80s. It's better than the upper 90s, right? Out of fall seven day forecast. Near 100 tomorrow. Uh, pretty darn hot down on Saturday with a chance of some storminess on Sunday. Rexburg, same thing. If, if you want to maybe do something outside because it's cooler this weekend, if you want to call Sunday cooler, I guess 93 is better than 96 in, in Blackfoot, but there is a chance you may need that umbrella, though, on Sunday. So just go prepared. Teton area, we're going to be hot, too, in the hot 90s for half of the weekend. Then you may see some showers and thunderstorms Sunday and Monday as we're not quite so warm for the Central Mountains. Pretty cloudy for your Saturday. That won't stop the heat. It'll stop a little bit, I think, by Monday. We're in the 80s and then back in the 90s for a day with a chance of showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday.